Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. Today I have the pleasure to give you a quick tour, a quick introduction and demonstration of the Oppenheim OBE from GeForce Software. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Additionally, I would like to give a big thank you to the guys at GeForce Software for giving me the opportunity, of course, to test these amazing reproduction of the OPE. So as uh, you can see running as a plugin inside uh, Ableton Live in this case is a fantastic reproduction of the eight voice polyphonic um, OBE endorsed by uh, Tom Oppenheim as well. So uh, great to see the um, endorsement there as well. It sounds Majestic, of course, is not only a reproduction, it adds a lot of uh, additional features. Of course, it does, as that is what you would expect, of course, from GeForce software. But enough with words, and um, it is quite intuitive when you look at the screen. You can see the eight different modules, the synthesizer expander module, which uh, allows you to create the polyphonic experience. If you click down here, you can move to the sequencer and the effects. So you can see a stereo delay and reverb and the MIDI sequencer here. You can activate the sequencer there on and off. Go back to the keyboard here. But um, um, as I just mentioned, it's, um, it's, it's the sound really. So let's start with some preset because they're really amazing. So you click here on browse, you get to these familiar um, browsing experience from GeForce for their synth. So let's listen. So as you can hear, the reverb is really incredible, really nice. Let's try these next uh, preset. And you can see this is version two. You have the V2 at the end of the preset. Let's try an octave above. Sounds amazing. Let's try a different uh, patch again. sound you can hear this type of patch in a movie here you can see we are in drum mode you can see here on the keyboard
Let's try this dream team sequence. <laughs> transport control inside Ableton Live, right? Pre uh, activate now. Stop. And then you have also this sound uh, in the background. Really great. So you can start with simply playing some chords and then add in um, the uh, sequences. the reverberation. This, of course, is just the OpenEye E just on its own. I have not added any additional effects. for that type of 80 sound right so let's try again this next one <laughs> Remember, in this case of the sequencer, you need to have the transport control on. So if you don't have them on, of course, that is not driving it. selection for unison as well poly mono you can do all of that you can adjust each uh, module itself individually you can adjust the frequency for the vco one and two for each module the vcf as well you can see yeah, the adjustment on the frequency itself, different type, of course, of uh, waveforms and um, 
and modulation. Of course, uh, envelope one and two, as you can see. You can also have ability to copy and paste, which is great. You can do hard sync there um, as well. And then you repeat all of that configuration for each of the different modules. And then you can control really the levels for the upper modules and also the um, lower module. And you can see here yeah, the control for all the different levels and also the pans controls for all the different modules. And then you have uh, overall setting for the VCO one and two in terms of frequency, the portamento, and of course the overall tuning with band range and global tuning as well with some addition of that vintage effect, which is great and vibrato, of course. Um, and here you have your uh, uh, parameter display where you can browse, preset, save them. You activate mono and poly, um, different uh, memory locations, uh, next and previous preset like so. So it is uh, nice and simple. And um, effect on and off, you can lock it on and off. You can have the sequencer on and off. You can go to the sequencer view, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video where you can decide the type of note per step, which will be played. Of course, you can change the uh, number of steps, the start, the rate, the sync, um, et cetera. You can do a lot. And then, of course, you have effects like a stereo delay and a reverb. So that's just a quick, very quick overview. And of course, it scales really nicely in terms of fitting within your screen. <laughs> Let's try some plaque. Let's see what uh, uh, we can find. Perhaps some warm one. You can see you can uh, choose between category types, timbers, and the patch. You can also search as well. You have information here like the notes, the author of the patch, and of course the tags for each of the patch. So it's really great. Lot of different options. Of course, you can uh, do an audition, you can randomize the search. And I see here you have different collection of you have also version one, not only version two. Let's add some reverb. Sequencer here. So you can see it's very simple, just click and hold on the notes as you're holding, move up and down, 
and then you change the the note. It's so easy to actually play with it. Well, it's really nice. like this one you can have the midi sequence running and then you can with these level of notes in terms of that uh, pitch and then you can go lower on your keyboard controller and uh, play a lower note and you have this nice effect So as you can see and hear, really powerful, really simple to use. It doesn't require um, a big manual and a lot of hours to understand how it works. Um, it's really, really straightforward in terms of actually program it for sound design, of course. As you can see, it didn't take me long to actually create a, a variation of this dynamic placard, enabling more reverb and enabling the MIDI sequencer. So you can create some really, really nice effect. Vibrato here, you have of course to change the setting, you can have into both, upper or lower. Okay, let's try another patch. Why don't we try something? We haven't tried a lot of bases, so let's try some bases and let's go for a, a plaque one and a deep one. So let's try um, this one. Great, but let's try the next one as well. Let's go for unison as well. Why not this bass pilling unison? As you can see in unison is hitting all the different modules. You can see the different lights here. As I'm pressing only one note, you can see here on the keyboard, only this note, see? And it's activating all of them. Of course, you can set unison off. And it's activating that one. Plus again, that one. So it's, um, it's really straightforward, really, as I mentioned. I hope you enjoyed uh, the tutorial and short demonstration. And as always, see you next time. Bye.